Check it. We got a, a highlighted thing over there. We also got some scorpions. Oh, 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 no, I ran the wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Yo, what everybody, we are here today taking a look at a playtest for an upcoming little banger by the name of Survival Fountain of Youth. Now, this right here is going to be very much along the lines of your open world island survival crafting games, your rafts, your the forests, your strandeds, etc, etc. However, what kind of um, lured me to this one in particular was the premise, because it's a little bit different. It's a bit of a caveat involved with this one. Here, it's the 16th century. As a matter of fact, what happens here in this adventure is that we hear grumblings, we hear rumblings of an alleged fountain of youth that's able to restore vigor, health, age to anybody who's to consume it. Because obviously we believe in that, we uh, go ahead and this adventure to indeed find this fountain of youth. Let's check it out. So, just a bit of a heads up, there's an introduction to this game which I skipped for the premise of us because it's kind of lengthy and I want to get us into some gameplay here. But, um, to give you a long story short, it's basically what I told you at the start, just in long version, you know, cutscene form. Um, another bit of a note here as well as we get underway, I'm running this on lower resolution and lower settings than I'm accustomed to. As the game is only a playtest, um, it's not very optimized well at all, so it makes my PC want to have an aneurysm. As a matter of fact, right now it's over there in the background screaming at me. I'm not sure if you'll hear it. Hopefully not. And you might hear a couple of fans here and there on occasion when it flares up. But it's kind of, you know, it's still in those testing stages where there's some optimization is definitely needs to be done here. So just a bit of forewarning if things are looking a little bit, uh, you know, more jank than you're accustomed to. Believe me, I know. I just don't want to punish my PC too much on a, on a play test, you know? Take the map. Where is this map at? Mm-hmm. Because of course their game could not exist if well, what's happening to them having a seizure or what? <laughs> oh okay. Well now our seizure just went into a straight up concussion right there, but I like it was just shaking and reaching at the air first, like, oh Escape the ship. What's happening here? Oh, that oil lamp was a terrible idea after all, huh? Get items from the chest. Um, apparently I can take three. Good idea. Well, why don't you just take the backpack and then suddenly inventory slots up to 11. Oh, it's locked? My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Okay. So luckily, obviously, we will survive. This horrible situation went down. Not only will we survive, we will thrive. We will find the Fountain of Youth. Okay, we have a first goal to quench our thirst. We are very thirsty boys. Find the green coconut. Now, oh, you now you equip everything automatically for me, huh? How absolutely dare you do this to me? I could have taken everything. Everything could have been mine. Find the green coconut. Okay, well, I'm going to pick up some randos as well because it's what I do. We have a... Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll pick up your coconut soon. Right now I'm seeing um, what looks to be like a little crab. Oh, good God, you are fast. You're a fast boy. But, oh, what a shot, though. Let's go. Bring that ass over here. New blueprints were unlocked. Added the raw crab. <laughs> Let's see if we can make that a two for two. Oh, he's got the sweet touch today, boys. He's never going to miss. See, the trick is, you know, you got to account for the trajectory, right? It's going to kind of go down after a bit. So you got to aim it a little bit higher. You're saying go for the trifecta, Falcon? I mean, I could do the trifecta, but look at that. We have a, a big, delicious turtle over there, too. Okay, look, 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 look. We, got, we got things to do. Okay, don't get too distracted. We will hunt later. Green coconut. That's you. Should look at these blueprints while we're at it as well, huh? Yes, we should. Crafting. Uh -huh. Roasted crab. Um, we need a campfire though. We would need the old campfire first. Where's our coconut water? Drinkable, satisfies the thirst. 30 
water and 20 minutes to repair. Let's go ahead and craft that. Down here we have our little timing system. Huh? Right, very good. We will have our day and night system, no surprise there. Let's go to inventory now and let's see about downing. That. So we're at 89 now, perfect. Satisfy the hunger. Well, you know what? I'm ahead of you because I already got a couple of crabs here. I just gotta apparently... I just gotta apparently get a little fire going up and running, you know what I'm saying? So, how do we get this fire up and running, you're asking? That's a good question. Campfire. Five sticks are required. And then we also gotta fuel it up afterwards, huh? That would indeed make sense. I mean, while I'm at it though, we might as well pick these bad boys up. We did get one that's apparently ripe, right? So this one apparently could maybe, just maybe, give me some pulp. Ten and three. I mean, it's something. Yeah, let, let me let me get the pulp off of this uh, coconut here. Let me tell you, my dude is not going to be enjoying his bathroom trips if all we're going to be doing is eating just coconut pulp and coconut water, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you apparently get that here. Three of them could be acquired. We already have one, so we need five, we said. We might need a couple more to stoke the fire, too, so, uh, I mean, give them all. Does it take us an hour to do this? Make it happen. Oh, we can skip this? Thank you. Oh, thank you for doing that. Who's got time to wait around, you know? Who's got time for it? Now, you're still up and running. What does that mean? Oh, now I can use the axe to cut you down for good. Okay. You have two? This would put us at the full... Well, actually, at six, if I'm correct. Small stick harvested. And give me a couple more, sure. Skip that. Ain't got time for wait. Okay, there's my fan. You guys might be able to hear it now. It's screaming at me. Ah, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Relax, dog. It's only 1080. <laughs> I'm not even used to playing at 1080 anymore, but it's just 1080. Okay, let's see if we can make this bad boy happen now. Crafting it. Ba, 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 ba. What is that? A twisted fire starter? It is. Primitive fire starter for ignition of fire. Mm, I mean, we might need one of those too, right? We have enough for both of them, I think. Do we have seven sticks is the question. We got nine. Yeah, 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 definitely. So let's start off first by making the campfire. Uh, place it and then you put it in. Okay, gotcha. I guess here is fine. Maybe we'll put our little bed under the shade so we're not over here roasting. So you'll be nearby to keep us warm, I guess. So yeah, this is fine. And then we put the stuff in like the, the forest. I think it was like the forest, right? It's been a while since I played this, but uh or since I played the forest. But that's a wooden club falcon. We said fire starter. Yes. So our fire starter's there. We just need some tinder. No suitable items for tinder. No swiping left or right for us right now. No getting some strange on this island. We're gonna have to go out and find some legitimate tinder. Let's see if we can find something out here. Do a little exploration while we're at it. At least we're not necessarily starving, starving just yet, but I want to get this out of the way. Now, do you think we could find something out here? Maybe. As a matter of fact, your plants look a little bit juicy. Would this do it? Tobacco leaves? I'm not sure that could be a, a tinder for us, but uh, tobacco leaves are going to be good eventually, I imagine. Right? We'll pick up a couple of these. Nighttime's almost approaching because I don't want to be here too late as well. Oh, here we go. Mushrooms. Now, you tinder... I mean, you even call the tinder mushroom. Mushrooms are the ideal boys for the tinder here. Okay, so we got our fire. Unfortunately, it's now nighttime, so... At least we got some fire here for tonight. We don't got a bed of sleep is the only problem, so we're gonna have to go out there and probably find whatever we need to for this. But, food should be, uh, no problem now, correct? Yes, 13 food, so we'll craft that. Shouldn't we have, like, two of those? Yes. Okay. Now, we are very tired, which is the reason why we need to get some sleep. But first, hunger. There you go. Let's have both of them. Why not? So we're at 68 hunger now, 77 thirst. Now we're just really tired. Create a place to sleep. So we need that bed of leaves we saw earlier, correct? Where's that bad boy at? Where have you gone, my friend? Bed of leaves. Signal fire. Primitive bed of leaves. Oh, nice. We got Mika. Box made of branches as well. I'm a big hoarder, so I gotta hide these things away. Uh, narrow leaves are required for this, huh? Okay, well, let's place you... I said I wanted you underneath here and close to the fire so it keeps us warm at night. Okay, don't, don't need to jump out. Just, just set it down. And narrow leaves, huh? I saw that you guys were interactable with. Are you the boys? You are the boys. So I gotta see, now, the things I gotta get used to with this game is gonna be what you can interact with and what you can't. 
Uh, we should be able to build this so it doesn't take us an hour. And I'm already tired, so it is what it is. Oh, oh we're at a one. Okay, no, I can't send a signal right now. All right, so that's done. Next thing is to build a signal fire, which we did see over here. What is the signal fire? Two sticks are required. We got none. We've wasted all of them for fires. And speaking of fires, fire is gone now, boys. We're going to have to make that axe soon so that we could actually uh, cut down these guys left over. Unless they somehow spawn more sticks for the next day. <gasps> they do. Does it say anywhere about this? No. Well... At least the next day they actually do give it uh, more sticks, so you know what? It might actually be in our best to not chop these down, as a matter of fact, then. But you know what I would like to do is to also get this axe up and running, so what's that going to require? Mm. Oh, we need to pick up that to learn the blueprint for it. It's got to be just a stone, right? we got to find some stone somewhere. Alright, well here's what we do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This one apparently doesn't give me a chance to get more. Did I just maybe not... Oh, you know what? Maybe they don't respawn. Maybe just actually missed out on harvesting that particular bundle of sticks. Uh, where do we want the signal fire? I prefer to like, be somewhere high, but... Beggars can't be choosers, so let's just play... Why do I always jump? Why do I feel like, you know, space is the confirmation? Got everything required? Yes. Make it happen, boys. There's apparently an injury chance. 1%. Okay, so our signal fire is good to go. We now have to find a stone, which is great, because that's going to give us, or at least open up the stone axe to us as well. Oh, baby, a triple! Okay, so that's good. Find stone. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, what? Did you, did you put this over here for me, game? Like, literally put us... That was in there before, was it? I literally run over that stone like a million times before? Hard to find it. Hard to believe. By the way, do you guys have anything? Oh, you do. Ooh, baby. Loaf of bread? I'll take that loaf of bread. Give me that loaf of bread. Before I go out, I would like to put that down. So, oh, four. Okay. Not put that too close to the fire. I guess close to us isn't really too bad. Though. We'll place it right there. For once, I didn't hit space, so I'm happy about that. Requires one more stick. Let's go find a stone. We'll use a stick to make the stone axe. And then we should hopefully be able to bring this little bundles down. And... Uh, Get sticks that way. Now, there's a bunch of rocks over here, so I imagine that should be good. What's our next objective, by the way? Find the pictured grotto. View the document. Uh huh. So, apparently, this grotto is going to be uh, next to some sort of giant monster <laughs> remains over here. And there's apparently a big rock just kind of teetering on top of a mountain. Oh! Okay, so we got some rest. The bar looking a little bit better, but more importantly, very early in the day, so this is enough time to do everything we have to. One of the things that we should do, though, is um, get a little nice fire happening here just for a little bit of food, which we're looking kind of all right on. It's really just thirst. We'll probably crack one of those coconuts open here. We also apparently got a survival point gained. Nice. We'll check that out here pretty soon. Roasted crab? Yes. Make that happen. Surely be one, right? And the roasted clam cannot be dealt with. F PC fans, stop yelling at me. I know, it's not me, dude. It's the game. What can I say? Oh, there's movement over there, by the way. Are you seeing that over there? I'm seeing. I'm curious about it, too. Hello, my friend. I come to your island in peace. He ain't he ain't about the peace. Too bad for you. Spotted skunk. Never would have imagined these guys were so aggressive, but apparently he saw me. He just wanted to have at me. Um, I'm not going to deal with um, you know, taking care of your remains right now. Is all we can get from you is literally bone? That's what he's for? Just for bone? For the bone, ba bone, 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 really? That's what it looked like. Hmm. Drop it in the ground and carve it up. Oh, okay. Okay. So drop him and you could probably use a stone cutter on him, hopefully. I mean, I'm hoping to get a little bit of meat on him. I mean... Look, I can't say I've ever had skunk, nor is it something that's really high on my list of, you know, food to ingest in my lifetime. But if I was stranded on an island such as this and, you know, well, I guess you kind of have to start lowering your expectations a little bit, right? You know, you're not going to find a local Mickey D's around the corner or something. You, know, you got to improvise a little bit. 
And if such means, you know, having some skunk, well, you gotta have the skunk. Might be a little bit stinky, that's okay, I mean. It's not plenty of salt water around, just, you know, bathe that ass in salt water. Hopefully remove some of the smell that way. Ooh. Coconut. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the entrance right there. Okay, good, good, good. Let's take you. I mean, our, our vitals right now are looking pretty good. It's not too big of a worry about this. This place is looking fairly dark. How about we pull out a little, uh, club and light it up? I think that's a good idea. It's my club at there. It's... Gotta unlock more of these. How do I do this, by the way? Oh, you know what? We got that, um, character point, did we not? Oh, it was based on survival. Survival point. This will give us concentration. Opens concentration mode available with the V hotkey. In this mode, special objects, weapons, ammo, and drop bags are highlighted. Oh, okay. Cool. Fire starting. Yeah, so all these will be things that we level up over time, huh? But they're also not available in the playtest demo, so I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter too much now, does it? Um, did I equip what I wanted to? Yes. Now, fire start, ignite. Uh, sure. Hey, hey, <laughs> let's go. What is this? Buzzball mushroom. Studied, huh? Check it. We got a, a highlighted thing over there. We also got some scorpions. No, I ran the wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Oh, he was running from me. <laughs> okay. I thought he was coming at me. I was like, why are these animals so aggressive in this island? First a skunk, now a scorpion wants to throw down. I mean, would I ever throw down with a scorpion? Hell no. But I, I wouldn't expect one to charge at me that way. Okay, hold up. Yo, dog. Your risk to my survival. So you must uh, perish. Any more? Any scumbags out here? Other than the one that got away? Yeah, the one that got away is basically gonna go tell everybody else about me, so they're gonna show up here like a giant squad of scorpions. Um, chances are you're- Oh, you're still on, thank you! I was like, damn, we're gonna have to do this again, aren't we? Scorpion carcass, put that in there. Okay, so... People were definitely here, what the hell is this? Living water. Note about living water. I'm leaving this li I'm leaving this bottle with living water so the person who finds it can restore health after shipwreck. Good luck to you, friend. To anyone who reads this, I am Juan Ponce de Leon, head of the expedition studying these islands. I barely survived the shipwreck and sailed here on a lifeboat. I'm leaving his note in case someone on my team also survived. I have spent a few days investigating this island and I am leaving a rough map in my notes about the island here in this grotto. The island is uninhabited, but it's full of wild birds and animals, so be careful. Found ruins and other traces of an ancient Indian civilization. This morning I was exploring a small island in the bay to the east and heard distant cannon shots. This must be a signal from one of our ships. Sounds like it is close enough to my island. My rescue boat is still intact, so I will immediately go there to find the survivors. But yes, just before sailing I noticed that I forgot my spyglass at the place where I heard the cannon shots. You can look for it. It is a conspicuous place with many fireflies. If you find it, I recommend that you take a good look around it in clear weather before you go after me. The old Indian observatory at the top of the mountain would be the perfect place to do this. Easy to, easy to find. The white drawings above it is visible from almost everywhere. Okay. Well. Thanks a lot, my friend. Uh, narrow leaves. I might as well take them for now. Also gonna give us a couple of new blueprints. So you know what, there's uh, this is where you definitely want to chill here. So all I did early on was for not. Cause this is definitely where you're gonna hang out and do most of your surviving ad. Cause look, it's already got like an own fireplace happening and everything. Inventory is full. So I gotta go back over there and grab that little box and like, you know, set it up here. Piece of the Jatoba gum. The hell that is. Yeah, this would be the ideal spot for us to live in then. New goal, prepare for trip. On this map, Ponce de Leon marked the approximate location of two water sources, the coastal grotto and the small island where he lost his spyglass. The caption says that the spyglass remained in a place where fireflies are visible at night. Hmm. Fireflies at night. 
And then there's Soul Silvery here. Um, as you can see, apparently um, surrounded by wolves, coyotes, something. I was not destined to complete a map of these local seas, but it may come in handy to find a place where Santiago sank a few miles south of this island. Perhaps there is still something useful there. I'm curious about going and exploring in here, though, just a little teeny tiny bit. Although, unfortunately, we cannot um, pick up anything else. Do we have enough sticks? No. So we would have to drop a couple of things. I could probably step outside and get some sticks and make a box here. Eventually make it back to where we started. We have the fire signal there. We could easily walk back to it. It's by the shore anyway. It seems the scorpion ran away earlier is returning to a stomping ground. So now he has died and I've leveled up some strength. Uh, let's build the bed inside of here. I just need one more um, leaf if I am correct. You just, just need one right now. What I'll do is just basically make this our shelter now while we're at it. I'll deal with you later right now. We're trying to do a little bit of item inventory management. So one way to do that will be to just make a bed for some room. So we'll place that like right here. Make sure there's no more scorpions rolling about. So make me another bed here. Primitive bed of leaves. It'll have to do. That's fine. And make. Okay, let's take a little gander inside of this, uh, grotto. Now everything's under control. Vital's looking pretty good. Everything's looking pretty fine. Siri, why are you turning on? No, Siri, go, go back to sleep. Stop waking up. Uh, oh, small stick. Could have been useful. Of course, uh, I needed the fire first to come in here and check it out. And I only know. Another scorpion. Now, they're scared of the fire. They will run away from the fire such as that. And I did find out that by killing a few, combining with some of the leaves that we have, we could make some scorpion poison. Well, not scorpion poison, but you know, in case we get poisoned by the scorpions. It's a way for us to negate the poison effect. There's a ton of these boys here. Okay, you guys are gonna run by me, right? Or run away from me either way, not stop to like, you know, Sting me. Don't don't come at me. Okay. I have popped up. Oh, no way. There's a fire right there. At least the, the signal fire that we made. So we have a shortcut. From where we started, we have a cave entrance down here. At least it's round to the grotto. I like that. I, I'm a sucker for shortcuts in game, and I like that we found this. Okay. Well, we have objectives and we also have a couple of things that the game was going to do, like craft this bandage and a wooden spear, huh? Not to, oh man, we've been recording this long already? Alright, well you know what, unfortunately, um, I'm going to wrap it up here. These type of open world survival crafting is I lose track of time, especially because I like, cut off a lot of things that I'm doing, like grinding for items. But I'm way over time with this one. I'm going to wrap it up here, I hope you guys enjoyed it. What I will do is that, um, it's only, as I've mentioned, a playtest, I'm not sure how much more of the game there is to do just yet. But I'll have a link down below in case you guys want to join up in the playtest yourselves. And also, I will leave it open if you guys want to see some more from me. Let me know in the comments if you want to a thumbs up. I can definitely come back and see what else there is to do. We haven't really ran into too much um, aggressive wildlife just yet. And apparently, the skunks didn't want me dead. But um, we could definitely do a bit of exploration if you guys enjoyed it. So do let me know. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time. Get out of my way, scorpions!